Welcome back everyone, Costin here on Serious Gaming, continuing my walkthrough of Mass Effect 3 on Insanity. Okay, let's go meet the Quarians. They've gone to war with the Geth. Lovely. Well. The envoy ship. Doc. Commander Shepard. A pleasure to see you again. Shall no I run? Should under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our home world and advanced AI technology. Your home world? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. 300 years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. It, it is, Admiral. No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother. Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. Invading was a mistake. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Letting you retreat. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora. Shepard. Tally. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Why didn't you tell me? I would have helped. Thanks, but I knew you had your own problems. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. And what about us? Would us being together divide the fleet? No. Well, possibly. I, I, I don't know. But right now, I've got civilian ships taking fire. Can we keep this quiet? At least in front of the admirals? Sure thing, Miss Voss Normandy. Thank you. If you want to talk in private, maybe you could invite me up to your cabin? Maybe I could. Tali? So... And, for the record, 
Oh. Still totally worth it. Hmm. Well, that's something. Okay, priority Gef Dreadnought. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. The war room, she's in the war room. Admiral Ron as well. Commander. What the hell were you thinking? Well, it's not like the admirals have supreme power or anything over the Koreans. I don't remember what's it called. The Conclave, yeah, the Conclave probably voted for this. And you know what? Hand girl almost beat the Gef until they asked the Reapers for aid or something. Admiral Run and Tali. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. Hmm. Legion. So what about Legion? It returned to get space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Oh. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. You have to live with it, Tali. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a home world. My people need me. You could help your people's home world by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Maybe if I had the right incentive? No, that's not... My people need me here. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. I see. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. I hear you. Shepard. The fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the Dreadnought. Zen. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. I see. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. 
Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. That's smart. Use what you've got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. The civilian fleet. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ships, captains, still have power. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. Okay. The Turians have... But before we began this... They lacked... And the patrol fleet. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. I see. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Okay, need to talk with Tali right now in private. So, they almost defeated the Geth, yeah. I see. Then, you know, Reapers. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Mm-hmm. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. Hey, you're not alone. This was supposed to be my father's fight, but he left me with all of this. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing. Trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. You've given up so much. Stood for too long without allies. I didn't want you to do this alone. So, if you're ever lonely, just let me know. Tally, nothing between us has changed. Unless you wanted to. Kila, Shepard. I'm not going to beg, but I didn't come up here just to see the fish. No, you came up here because I asked you to. I want you here. With me. Huh. That's my romance. All right. Now that that's done, time to save the Quarian fleet from their own stupidity. It was a good plan, except uh, they put the Geth in a desperate position. Man, those he showed me vids of the Banshees. That's messed up. None of the Reaper's victims come out looking pretty. Well, yeah, mutating people to turn them into living weapons is one thing. But the yelling, why make them yell? It's totally uncalled for. Commander? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the Convoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. 
if we're not warned very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Oh, bloody hell. I'm stuck again. Which is frustrating as hell. You can get stuck in this position right here. All right. Tell, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. I forgot. Seventeen million. Yeah, just gonna skip the scut. You so if you. All right. Frustrating, but it is what it is. I wish they could fix the bug, but there's a lot of bugs they need to fix. Alright, the Perseus Veil. Disable the Dreadnought. We're going to war with the Geth. But that's in the next video. Question here on Serious Gaming.